Hello, welcome back to GS Simple. In this video, we will familiarize ourselves uh, with digital terrain models. Before uh, delving into the core of this short tutorial, let's go and see what a digital terrain model or a digital elevation model actually is. So, uh, this is a, um, a PowerPoint slide which is showing you uh, what a digital, a digital terrain model or a digital elevation model actually is. And first of all, a digital terrain model is uh, a raster which is representing the elevation of the earth, earth surface. So you can uh, think of a digital uh, terrain model as a, a grid uh, which is made up of cells, uh, which is made up of pixels. Each pixel is representing a portion of the uh, terrain and the sides, the actual sides of this portion depends on the resolution of our digital terrain model of our uh, image. So the higher the resolution, the smaller will be the portion of the terrain that each, pic that each pixel actually represents. Each pixel uh, is defined by an, uh, a, a pair of uh, geographic coordinates, and so each pixel is uh, defined by an x and y uh, coordinate, and each pixel is also storing a third value, which is, the, in this case, the, the elevation of the uh, terrain that each pixel is actually representing. But there is a difference between digital elevation model and digital terrain model. As you can see from this image at the bottom of this uh, Power, PowerPoint slide, uh, a digital elevation model is a raster which is representing the height of the terrain, including uh, off-ground elements like uh, trees, uh, canopies, buildings and so forth. A digital terrain model is a, a raster image, is a, is a raster dataset which is representing the height of the terrain only. So let's go back to ArcGIS and uh, I will show you how we can uh, input a digital uh, terrain model into ArcMap. So we click on the plus symbol and we search for our uh, raster file and we add the uh, digital terrain model to the uh, layout. So this is the um, uh, digital terrain model representing uh, Italy, regarding Italy as you may uh, see, and uh, so in this uh, raster each pixel is uh, storing, as I told you before, uh, is, is actually storing the value of the elevation of the uh, terrain at each cell. So each cell in this digital terrain model is representing a portion of the, of, uh, the real terrain and for, for each cell we have a value stored and the value corresponds to the, to the elevation of the corresponding part of the terrain. And uh, in this case, ArcMap is using a, a gray scale to represent the distribution of the values of the, of the elevation of the terrain. And of course we can change the color scale uh, in order for us to have uh, a, um, a better looking outlook for our uh, digital terrain model. And before sh showing you how we can change the color scale to be used for our uh, digital terrain model, uh, it is important to know that uh, this uh, digital terrain model is uh, uh, the uh, Aster uh, GDEM uh, uh, dataset and uh, if you want um, further information about the Aster GDEM uh, um, digital terrain model you can search for example on Wikipedia uh, and so the, the Aster 
uh, GDEM is a digital theoretic model uh, that is um, that has been obtained uh, in I think in, in the early 2000 and the name Aster is a uh, means advanced spaceborne thermal emission and reflection radiometer and so you can uh, get all the information that you want uh, from uh, uh, Wikipedia or uh, or other online sources but uh, for the sake of this tutorial it is important to know that the resolution of uh, uh, of uh, the Aster GDEM that we are using in this tutorial is uh, uh, 30 meter. So uh, each pixel is representing a portion of the terrain with a size of 30 meter by 30 meters. And if you uh, want to check the resolution of uh, this digital terrain model, uh, you can uh, click, um, right click on the layer name, go to properties, go to source, and you will see that the cell size y, x, x and y is about 30 meters by 30 meters, actually 28.21 by 28.21 meters. So that's all for now. I will see you in the next video where I will show you how we can change the color scale to be used for uh, uh, represent, to visualize this uh, digital terrain model. See you in the next video.